the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup. This is Junior Women's Quad Skulls. So William Borlase is grammar school, haven't had to travel very far. Down the road in Marlow on the Buck Station. And it's Glasgow Academy on the Berkshire Station. And both of them steering a decent line until now. And looking on the Buck Station, so William Borlase's grammar school veering pretty dramatically out into the centre of the water. I think it's really easy to get a little bit lost actually at that point in the island because the island comes towards you and it so it feels like you want to move away from it and you can see um, that they did fall a little bit foul of that but they've got themselves back on. Glasgow Academy however took the advantage of that and they've got themselves a bit of a three-quarter length of lead I'd say at this point. And that's where all the practice comes in if you've had a few trial runs at that and Sir William Borlase's grammar score as I say just down the road uh, compared to Glasgow Academy they've got more access to this stretch of the water they'll have uh, experienced that a bit more won't they yeah absolutely it's that um, time um, under tension if you like and being making sure that you know the tension of the race that you're able to keep your thinking and and be able to execute what you've done so many times but the more times you had an opportunity to do it the easier it is um, to, to do it under pressure and looking at both crews now they, they're, they're pretty good on the on the um, on the water where well, they want to go you can see that Glasgow I think are moving out a tiny bit getting themselves away from their spoon so they feel comfortable yeah so Glasgow Academy once you get far enough ahead actually as an umpire Sarah I'll be interested in your perspective on this because I was reading up the uh, the rules and regs last night obviously it's a long time since any of us have seen racing at Henley and uh, it says once you get a substantial lead you can move out into the middle of the water but is that dated now are we uh, what's the, what's the deal there because it's always yeah. quite controversial that. and then definitely definitely not in our racing at Henley so interference which is um, considered a, a cruise puddle if you like or wash going into the boat in front of them is, is not allowed so we do expect the crews to stay on their station if the crew that's behind actually wavers you wouldn't okay. uh, and they're not going to be at risk of a foul we wouldn't worry too much about that because obviously it's not going to change yeah. the output for the race so the f crew in front we absolutely expect to stay on station and um, if they want to move a tiny bit out of the boom so they feel comfortable absolutely that can happen but the um yeah what we're expecting is to see a crew on the Berkshire side and a crew on the Berkshire yeah and uh, at the moment that's exactly what we've got right on cue look at that perfect as an umpire you'd be happy with that now Sarah I'd be very comfortable yes so moving along well Glasgow Academy against the local boat from Marlow Emily Farmer in the bow seat for William Borlase Anna Graham at, uh, two uh, Anna Grahams and then that uh, Millie Medlock Halliwell in the stroke seat and they're all 17 year olds well um, Emily Farmer is 18 in the bow seat but inexperienced relatively I mean, that's uh, quite some moment for a, a young rower isn't it being here on the uh, first morning of Henry Moore Regatta representing your school there have been a lot of work and it, interestingly um, obviously if you're watching from abroad you might not be aware that the schools have all broken up long ago it's uh, middle of the summer holidays whereas normally it's during the term time or, or closer to term time that Henny Moragata takes place so they've had to keep training in their uh, summer holidays and uh, keep busy yeah usually we have it at the Regatta first week in July so that is just after they they finished I, I think or maybe some of them would still be um, yes. at school so five six weeks later it, it, it is a challenge and having run teams out of season it, it's a different skill so it'd be interesting how much the coaches have worked with them maybe they gave them a break and then came back into it a small break and that might work into it but this Glasgow crew is, is hugely experienced you've got Orla Johnson there she's already represented Great Britain at GB France in, in a pair and Scotland in a home international so some real quality in that bow seat setting it, it up I'm sure their coaches everywhere cursing the change because they can't just copy and paste the program can they have to rethink how you keep the rowers sharp for the extra six weeks of delay during the summer holidays but it looks as we watch this diamond jubilee challenge cup heat unfold like uh well both of these boats have, have done a good job of that glasgow academy on the berkshire station there 
Yeah. And this Glasgow Academy had success in Henley Women's Regatta on this course. They would have finished by then. They've just passed that Henley Women's Regatta finish, but they were the winners of the Grotton Cup a few weeks ago um, and also winners of the National uh, Schools Regatta this year. So they've come here in form and they seem to have held that form to, to hit this heat. You can hear the support from the bank. And they're doing that, managing the race and managing the week thing that we've already talked about where they've just dropped the rate off and again that's impressive isn't it for youngsters to have the nous and the wherewithal to make sure they don't uh, overdo it in these early stages of the rounds yeah, and it's interesting you talk about the coaches thinking Ian Sumsdale the Glasgow coach and Glasgow Academy coach was the Scottish Rowing Performance Coach of the Year in 2015 so he's clearly been recognised for how he's working with these athletes young, young and other in, in the academy which is fantastic to see. Yeah it's going to be interesting the different approaches and how they pay off because when uh, you've had the routine for so many years of Henry Rohr being at the same time of the year and the same external pressures on the athletes and managing all of their workload and their training load. Suddenly a new challenge. There's no correct formula, is there, for the coaches. They'll all have done it in a slightly different way. It's going to be interesting what pays off and what will be a miss. And it's interesting because I saw and um, had a chat to a few of the coaches in the bank and they, they, they've mentioned it's felt like a long season. They yeah. are used to as well as the athletes stopping um, earlier on. So, and I, in the clubs I've actually heard other people say they think it's fantastic they're handy at this time because it's bet. keeping the athletes focused. So there's two sides of every coin. Really interesting. So good work from Glasgow Academy. Uh, a few more strokes from Johnson, McCann, Thompson and Armit in the stroke seat. Kendall Armit, all 17-year-olds. They sound pretty jubilant. Quite right too. Glasgow Academy are through in the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup. Made fairly straightforward work of that. The local boat from Marlow, Sir William Borlase's Grammar School, over the line now. Fantastic, I'd say definitely Glasgow Academy, one to watch in this regatta.